we are talking on this subject, we're looking at the opportunities, the challenges, the applications of the integration of um, RPA and AI. And um, some may question, actually, are they separate? Are they the same thing? So in my world, from a purist AI perspective, um, I, look at it, I look at it in terms of the, the intelligence part, um, less the, the, automate, the automated or the artificial, look at the intelligence. Um, artificial intelligence in terms of an endpoint for us is, is where a machine can begin to make decisions, make judgments that are equally as good as a human. Not necessarily just doing the tasks, being able to make decisions, and that's the distinction that we make. So you can see um, there's a great opportunity for the marriage of RPA and AI. One of the other areas um, is unstructured data. 80% of the world's enterprise data is unstructured. That means we're only using 20% of it. Um, there's a big challenge when you come um, to, to RPA and, and the how to cope with, how to process, how to use unstructured data. We come from a world of, um, where we deal with a lot of business intelligence teams, analytics teams. It's the same problem. Um, your business doesn't operate purely on the 20% of structured data. Decisions don't get made on 20% of the structured data. And this is a brand new kind of startup mobile first um, bank, cloud first bank. Um, they can open a bank account in eight minutes. So in order to open a bank account, all the paperwork necessary, the checks and so on, there's a huge amount of process automation required there. But how do you deal with the exceptions to make sure that that claim, which is what people are signing up to do, doesn't break? And so putting machine learning into that to make sure that over time you're meeting those metrics, maybe you can get that down to seven minutes, two minutes, instantaneous, who knows? But in order to do that, you need to have those self-learning systems, not just basing it on business rules and process improvements. Natural language I see playing a huge part in terms of its interface with RPA. Um, both the ingestion of information, the use of information, the interfaces with processes, um, the outputs of processes, how you communicate both internally and with customers in terms of natural language. Focus on building an asset. So this is not just a tool, it's not just a platform, it's not just something shiny to say we are doing AI and tick the box and come back six months later and see how the AI is doing. Um, it's about understanding how to build in this capability into the organization. How do you improve, how do you get things self-improving? How do you really bake in machine learning um, to those processes, to your systems, to be able to make some of that transformation without having to do a huge amount of change? And that's the thing, artificial intelligence doesn't need you to re-platform. It doesn't need to be an enterprise piece of software. You can add it to existing systems, existing processes to really begin to make big strides forward. Cognitive um, process automation uh, is where I see that those two things coming together. It's not just about the automation. It's not just about the artificial intelligence. It's when those two worlds can come together, there's some really, really exciting opportunities for enterprise.